Now, the last thing I want to cover is the logs. So let me go down to the logs over here. And that is this little clipboard on the lower right hand side. And I mentioned that we have alarm logs, but we have also a number of other logs that may be important to you. For example, this little settings log here. And while I'm thinking about it, that little yellow triangle means that there was a setting change that you just haven't viewed on that log screen. So I'm going to touch that setting area. And notice how the yellow triangle went away. Kind of small, but you may be wondering what that little yellow triangle is for. So this is my settings log. And I can save 500 settings and I can scroll up. And then I also have a patient data log. And finally, it might be important to also look at the general event log. Now, let's just say that there was something that went, uh, you wanted to investigate. And so you go under a certain setting. And someone changed the setting, and you're wondering, I wonder what happened with alarms around that setting? Or maybe I want to know what happened with maybe the patient data information. So I can pick a specific setting change. Let's just pick one down here somewhere. And I'll say that um, maybe this one right here. I'm going to touch that button and it pulls it down here to the uh, lower part of the screen. And what makes it nice and simple to see what's happening around that one setting change is if I hit the log log, I'm sorry, the log tab now, it draws a yellow line and lets me know what the alarms were before and after that setting change. And then if I go down to the patient data section, in the same way, it'll find that setting change and then it will draw that yellow line to show you what happened before and after from a patient data uh, information.